Hey guys, welcome back to another Ben 10 toy video, and uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the Ben 10 reboot upgrade figure. Um, now before I go into this video and this figure, uh, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching my other Ben 10 videos. You know, I honestly didn't think that those videos were going to get more than like five views, but they're like my two most viewed videos on this channel, so thank you guys for that. And I'm guessing a lot of you guys that are subscribers are here for the Ben 10 videos because, um, you know, I got a lot of feedback with those Ben 10 videos. So I'm, I'm guessing a lot of you are subscribed for the Ben 10 videos. And if you are, thank you for waiting patiently. You know, it's been a while since I've made a Ben 10 video and I want to say sorry for that. But, you know, if you subscribe for the Ben 10 videos and you've been waiting and, you know, I'm finally putting out these Ben 10 videos, thank you for waiting and thank you for being patient. But that being said, we're going to take a look at this upgrade figure real fast and do an unboxing uh, just because I really wanted to see uh, how Playmates does Ben 10 figures. I want to see if they do it better than Bandai, if they do it the same as Bandai, or if they do it the worst as Bandai. But I just wanted to see, so I picked up Upgrade just because he's one of the original 10, and I have some future plans for an Upgrade video. But uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. Alright, so here we have the packaging close-up and in hand. Uh, as you can see, we've got the figure here with his upgraded drone accessory. Uh, you get sort of like a advertisement for the Ben 10 Alien Experience app. I uh, got the title Ben 10 up here. You got Ben doing a cool action pose. And then here on the front, you got a picture of Upgrade, his name, uh, Playmates Toys Cartoon Network logo. And this toy is for ages four and up. Now on the bottom of the packaging, it's basically just some information. Um, most of it's the same as... Uh, the front of the box, but you get a little link for YouTube and Facebook, and you get some uh, product information about Playmates Toys, Cartoon Network.com, uh, Safety Hazard, and all that good stuff. And then on the back, you get all this. Uh, if you want to read some of the stats about Upgrade or uh, any information about the show, go ahead and pause the video and read it. Otherwise, we're going to look at the bottom and see all the other figures in the line. So here we have all the other figures in the line. Uh, it says to collect them all. Uh, looks like we got some new figures for Kevin Eleven, uh, Kevin Eleven's version of Heat Blast Hotshot. Uh, we got Humongousaur back, which is kind of surprising. Uh, got a new alien slapback. We got Wrath, which again he's another old alien who's back, which is also pretty surprising. We also got some of the older figures in the line, and then down here it says Catch Ben Ten on Cartoon Network and unleash more alien superpowers at Ben10.com, and just some more information that we already saw before. Alright, so now that we've seen the figure in hand in its box, I'd say it's time to unbox this thing. So let's go. Alright, so we're going to unbox this thing right now. And I uh, guess we'll use these scissors right here to do it. So go ahead. Oh. There's like a little hole in here already, so I guess we'll just use that. Um, it's not really working. Oh, it works. Okay, cool. Now it's stuck on something. Alright. Working pretty well so far. Awesome. Slide it out. Let's put the box over there. So here it, here it looks. Out of package. Looking real nice. Uh, it's got some twist ties in it, so I guess I'll just cut those. Using the same scissors. Ooh boy. I'm worrying about scratching the paint on this thing. I do not want to do that. Uh, camera. There we go. Got one. Now I just need to get three more. Alright, so I guess we'll take the drone out first and see how that looks. Uh, it looks pretty cool. There's some stuff on it. But it looks pretty cool so far. Now we're going to take out the figure. So, there it is. Ooh, wow. Whoa. Move it around a little bit. Oh, wow, the head is really stiff. Oh, there we go. Just straighten it out a little bit for the video. 
Alright, coo, coo, coo. That's what it looks like so far. It's nice and translucent and clear. Pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if the drone plugs into him or anything. It'd be cool if it plugged into his back, but it doesn't, so... Yeah. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. So this is basically everything that you get with this figure right here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a break for a moment and mess around with this figure a little more and get a handle on it. And I'll give you my final thoughts and an overview of the figure and a closer look at the figure uh, after the break. So, yeah, let's go ahead and take a break, and I'll see you in the next scene. All right, so after messing around with this guy for a little while now, I gotta say, it's a pretty nice figure. Uh, one of the main problems that I have with this figure, though, is that uh, when you take his little helicopter jet thing, helicopter, really, when you take away his little jet thing, he kind of tends to fall over because uh, his legs actually aren't the same size. One of them is actually longer than the other one, if you can tell by the camera, but let me see. See that? One leg is longer than the other one. So uh, I'm going to mark points off of that from Playmates because uh, I kind of like my figures to stand. That's kind of a main thing that I like, but uh, just a minor thing. It totally helps if you have the little airplane in his hand. It balances him out so that he is able to stand. So yeah, I guess there's actually a use for this thing. <laughs> but uh, um, let's look at this thing first. Uh, it's just a little plain thing little jet. As you can see it's got like the same design as Upgrade. It's got like this nice translucent purple. But other than that it really doesn't serve any purpose. It's just kind of this random accessory. More like a paperweight. Uh, it doesn't plug into him or anything. It just, if anything, it just helps him stand. So that's it. <laughs> I guess that's all it's good for so that's all I'm gonna use it for just to help him stand. Uh, now the figure itself, it's actually a really decent figure. Uh, I really like the posability with this thing, especially, um, you know, taking it out of the packaging, as you saw, the head was, like, super hard to move, and it still is kind of hard to move, but, uh, once you finally get it, it is, uh, pretty nice. And then the arms, you know, they go all the way around. This arm right here is really super tight, so I'm gonna have to probably use boiling water to loosen that up a little bit, but I don't know. Uh, the elbows, they bend... And what's really cool with this guy is that he's got like a swivel on his elbow so that he could uh, kind of look like he's going like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, really, I really like that. Um, let's see. One surprising thing about this figure is that he actually has waist articulation. So you could actually turn his legs. I don't know what that'll serve. I guess you could get some more poses out of him. But uh, it's nice that they included it even though I'm probably never going to use that. And then his legs can go forward. They could also go back pretty far so he could look like he's Naruto running. And um, he has no knee articulation, kind of like the original figure, but you can turn his legs around and just kind of have him do the splits. So I guess <laughs> he'd be kicking bad guys from two sides, but uh, whatever. Uh, so yeah, a little more articulation than the Bandai original upgrade figures, but yeah. Um, Overall, this is a pretty good figure. Uh, I really like it. Uh, I wouldn't say it's better than the original Bandai figures. I think um, I'm a little biased because, you know, Bandai has been making Ben 10 toys for so long. I'm just kind of used to their articulation and the way they make figures. But this is really cool. This is still a really nice figure. And I really do like the posability and um, everything about it. And I like how it's practically the same size as the original figures. So, yeah, overall... This is still a really good figure. Uh, I highly recommend picking it up if you're a Ben 10 fan. Um, I wasn't really cool with the design that they came up with for the reboot upgrade. Uh, I much prefer the original design, but you know this design is starting to grow on me, and it really does make for a really good figure. So uh, overall, is it better than Bandai? Mm, it's about the same. I'd, I'd say it's like the same quality figure. Um, I don't really prefer one over the other, but you know, it's it's a figure. It's cool. So, yeah, those are basically my thoughts on the Ben 10 upgrade, the Ben 10 reboot upgrade. And, yeah, um, I probably won't be picking up any of the other figures in this wave. Uh, I probably will pick up maybe Humongousaur. I don't know. We'll see how things go. But for now, this is the only figure that I'm picking up right now. So, yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. You know, if you like this video... 
uh, leave a like. And if you want to support my channel, uh, please check out some of my other videos. I have a whole lot of other videos on this channel. Uh, I do movie reviews, I do book reviews, I do comic book reviews, I do show reviews. Uh, what else do I do? I make random fun vlogs when I'm bored. And of course I do the Ben 10 toy videos and other toy videos to be honest. Uh, just whatever I like. So, you know, if you want to see some more videos, more content, please consider watching my other videos because I do make a lot of videos for a lot of different things and you'll probably find something that you like you know you can't only just like Ben 10 um, I make a lot of other stuff so if you like any other stuff check out my channel see if you find something that you like and I probably made a video about it so yeah uh, if you have any ideas for videos that I can make in the future go ahead and leave your thoughts in the comments below of what you want to see and I'll try and do that but other than that guys thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next video later oh and real quick before I go uh, there's one more thing I want to mention if you watch my other videos and support me by either subscribing or just by watching my other videos uh, you can expect to see a lot more Ben 10 videos in the future and speaking of Ben 10 videos I have a little idea for a Ben 10 video coming up real soon later guys